In this video, we are going to be starting the 5.1, uh, which is the CO2 car top, our top view cut. Uh, this is actually going to be video 6, 7, and 8, and it's going to be explaining uh, essentially a couple different ways we're going to do it. I'm going to start by getting ready for the advanced version here, where it says use the rectangle tool to draw the bottom back on your car if you've deleted it in the top view cuts. And then we're going to basically be going on through this rest of the stuff, which I'll show you uh, in this next portion of the assignment. Um, so we're going to start with the hard one, and then we're going to work our way towards the easier stuff that's on the top part. Um, at the same time, here we go. So we're going into our car model in SketchUp. Uh, getting into my model, a few things I'm going to start by doing here today is I'm going to start by deleting a few of these lines, all right? So uh, once again, these guidelines are actually in my model. So I got to double click in to get into it. And then I can select by clicking and dragging outside of my car and just delete all my guidelines that I don't need to use anymore. Uh, I just got a few of them that are floating around that just a few of these deletes will help just clean my car up. Now, I have my stuff pretty much where it is. Uh, I can get rid of this bottom line right here too that I, it starts with. Um, but now we have our car all cleaned up and ready to go. Now, uh, things to show you, if we go to our full car and we go to the front, you're gonna see that our front view has changed from that original trapezoid shape. Uh, and if we go to the top, you're gonna see that's still that rectangle. So what we need to do in this assignment is we need to change that shape some way. Uh, we're going to start with the difficult parts first. So um, what we're going to do right away is just going back to our half car for modeling. What's going to end up happening is if we've deleted any stuff away in this video, I'm going to show us how to put it back on so we can do the next video, which is showing you how to actually cut it out. OK, um, so what I mean by that is this area, this area in my front, I got to put that back on in order to do my cuts. I'm going to do that from my bottom view scene. When I select that, it flips my car all the way around. The things we can tell is where my bottom still exists because that's the part that's blue. That's all I have left. Essentially, I gotta draw some shapes in to connect that to bring that bottom back in order for me to remove the material I wanna do in this cut. Um, if you can see where the housing is here, when it's sitting up, uh, the middle of our car is actually up here in the top. The outside of our car is actually down here in the bottom. Okay, what we need to do is we need to uh, connect the area that we have here to draw our bottom back on so we can easily model the shape that we want it to have happening um, to be able to push pull our or through our car that shape through our car in our next video so what we need to do right away here is here is we need to use the rectangle tool and sometimes the combination of the push pull tool to add these surfaces back on temporarily so going back into the bottom view of my car the first thing I'm going to do is draw my rectangle back on. So using the rectangle tool, I am going to go from the end point over here. All right, everybody sees where I'm starting? Outside of my car, across my car to the end point on the inside. And I could have done it this way also from starting here and marking my way to here. But either way, if I go to my car now and hit the half car for modeling, you'll see that I drew the bottom back on. And once again, it's just temporary. We're gonna delete that in the next video. Now, how do I get the back on here and the front on there? That's the next portion. So once again, bottom view. And the thing that you have is uh, in, the, in the middle is we have a place to connect from back to front. Now we don't have that. So what we actually have to do is go to our half car for modeling and I want to be in the front view of my car. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a line down and over from this end point of my arc. All right. And therefore, that's going to put that surface back on. So if I come here and click on the end point and then go over to the where the end point stops, I'll have that surface. And then if I go to my push-pull tool, I'm able to add on that material by selecting and then just pushing that back to the midpoint, all right? And then if I go to the bottom or orbit around to the bottom, you'll see that I've drawn that surface back on. And now all we have to do is do the same thing for the back of our car. So going into our half car for modeling, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this video, but I always make sure that we've double clicked in to make sure we have the bounding box around there or your, your stuff's not going to work because you're not actually altering your model. And we're going to go to the front view here. 
in the same thing, we're going to start here or here, and we're going to end in the opposite spot. So rectangle tool, <clears throat> selecting on the edge, and clicking here. To put that back, I'm just going to push-pull that back to the middle of my car. And I can find that middle in this view, right over here, there's a little spot of that. Or I could also just orbit around my car and select that view, and it's going to put it back on there. All right? Uh, like I said earlier, this stuff actually is going to end up being deleted um, out again. But what that does is it gives us our flat bottom now where we can draw the shapes we need uh, to be able to push-pull them through and cut our car. All right? Hope that helps explain what's going on. And in the next two videos, we will get our top view cut done. Thanks for watching.